Will from Wheelbrack Design here, back with another video, a little tips and tricks video. Um, this one's more about prototyping and a little annoyance that I find in Figma that um, I found a solution to and hopefully it'll help someone else. So this is a uh, the file, the Figma parallax file from a other video I recorded recently. Um, go check that out, it's on my channel, um, shows you all about parallax. And we created this little prototype here, which I'll just quickly show again, because it's pretty cool. And if you haven't watched that video, this might spare you to actually want to watch it um, when it loads. So essentially what we've got is, we've got an image up here that's made up of multiple layers and they all move at different rates. And that's just what it is. It's just a parallax effect that you can achieve in Figma. Um, and this is how it was built. And we can see there's a prototype here. So, Say I am working on a design file and I've got a page over here, say this is my working page, um, obviously it's not titled that here but let's assume this is just where I'm doing all my working and I've got a new page called Handover that I want to use to give to the developers to actually implement this correctly in code um, and I've got a load of other stuff in here, I've got some components over here, I've got some uh, wireframes over here, all stuff that's helped me design these screens here, which I don't want the developers to have to try and sort through, so I create a new page called Handover, and that's where I want to put it. So, I'm going to grab all these screens that I want to copy, Command C, go over to Handover, Command V, and we can see something's gone wrong. So what has gone wrong? We can see, looking at these prototyping arrows here, that some of them are actually missing, which is really annoying. Um, and Figma, it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't even copy any of them over. Sometimes you bring your prototype in, and it doesn't bring any of your links in, um, which is really frustrating. So essentially, you can't copy your prototypes from one page to another, but you can, and I'll show you how. So let's delete that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we've got prototyping open on the right here. So that's open. We're going to select everything again, the same as before. Uh, when I say everything, that's all the screens we want to copy. We're going to press Command D or Control D if you're on Windows. That's now duplicated everything. So now we can move these duplicated ones over to the side. While they're still selected, we can see all the links are still there, which is correct. While they're still selected, we're gonna right click go to move to page and we're going to send it to our handover page and now when we go to our handover page we can now see that all those links are there and that's exactly what we wanted so we can either leave these here or we can delete them um, we could have just selected all of these and moved it to the page but I wanted to keep these in this page and move it to this page as well. So that's how you do that. That's how you copy your prototypes from one page to another in Figma. I really hope that helps someone. Um, it took me a little while to figure that out and it was really frustrating having to re-create um, all those links, especially when you're looking at like 50 plus screens. If you're doing like a full on app design and you've got this amazing prototype ready to go, or you want to separate a bigger prototype into little prototypes, um, for certain sections and break it down for the developers. It's really annoying having to redo all those links, so this should hopefully be a nice time saver for you. So thanks for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, this is a small channel that I'm hoping will grow, um, and it, as it grows, I'll be sharing more and more content, which is great for everyone. It's free, free content. Um, I think YouTube's probably the best place to learn design. In fact, I would argue that it's better than going to university because it's pretty much always at the forefront, um, whereas university seems to be lagging behind. So they're probably still teaching something like Illustrator and Photoshop instead of Figma, which is ridiculous, but there you go. So yeah, in the comments below, leave me a comment if you've got any kind of requests for other videos, that kind of thing. If you've got any questions about this video um, or just feedback, feedback about the videos in general, good or bad, I don't mind. This is all about improving. We're designers, we're always looking to improve, so let me know your feedback below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.